Hey everyone at the C3X community, Ruby Danger here. Thought I'd make a video on how I chart vocals, at least a beginner's guide. I am no way an expert vocals charter in any way, but I am no longer afraid of it either. Uh, if you're like me, you're a little intimidated at first, all the things about it, all the write-ups. Um, I wish I could give someone credit for my final way I do it, but it's kind of a mishmash hodgepodge of everything I've read at the threads, every video I watched, Discord, you name it. So I came up with a little way I like to do it that seems to be pretty simple. I'm sure there's more advanced ways. I'm sure some of you might be cringing at some of this, but again, this is just a beginner's guide video tutorial to get people off and running. All right, so first we want to pick a song, of course. Uh, I chose to do Traffic Steer, Mr. Fantasy, just to show you. We're just going to do like the first two verses or something. First thing you want to do is find the lyrics, obviously. So we're going to go online, get the quick lyrics. Da -da, copy this. And then you want to take it to the Lyric Hyphenator webpage. Move the thread up there so you can see it. Paste it into there, hyphenate my text. And then we're going to select all, control A, copy that. You want to open a notepad. Paste your lyrics into there. First thing I like to do to clean it up a little is do a control H, find and replace. I get rid of all the commas. Replace all. And then you also want to do a control H for the dash and change it to dash space, replace all. So all your split lyrics now have a space between them. And then you should also just look through it real quick. This isn't perfect, it's a uh, you know, generated thing, so sometimes it does miss words, or sometimes it hyphens words that shouldn't be hyphened. So just give a quick look through it, make sure it looks good. You'll actually see it as you're building it. If something's not right, you can come back and finish it. And then go ahead and save this file. I always create a uh, project folder for every song I'm working on. So I have a project folder for Traffic, Dear Mr. Fantasy, and I'll name it Lyrics. Okay. And we can close them for now. We're not ready to use them yet. So the next thing we want to do is create a stem. If you haven't already created your stem when you made your tempo map, so all I need is a vocal stem for this purpose, so we'll leave it on two. My project folder, I've already rendered the file. If you don't know how to render the file, you might want to watch my tempo mapping video or look at how to render a file. File. So we'll drag him in there. We'll let Splitter split the stems. Okay, our stems are complete. We can close that. Now, I like to clean up my stem a little bit. It is a stem, so you are going to get some uh, feedback in it, unwanted notes, things like that. So I drag my vocal wave into Audacity. And we don't need it in stereo. We're not going to use this in the game anywhere, maybe for Drive Oaks if you want. So I'm going to split it to mono. We'll go ahead and prepare it for dry, just in case we don't record dry later. And we'll make him a little more visible. And we'll zoom in a little bit. All right. So like I said, here's uh, some garbage feedback, some guitar notes it missed, things like that. Lyrics won't start till right here. So I'm actually going to highlight all this garbage. And you go to Generate Silence. I've also created a hotkey, Shift-Z. So if you don't see me go generate silence, it's because I'm hitting my hotkey. And just create silence over those parts. And then right here you can see we got him inhaling, things like that. If you want to hear it before you delete it, highlight it and just play. You'll see we're not missing any of these lyrics. And then just generate silence over it. I like to clean up my songs. Makes it easier when you're charting later. And just go through the whole thing, take out any unwanted noises. 
Again, if you're not sure if it's an unwanted noise, just highlight it and play it. Yeah. So we'll generate silence over that. And just clean up the whole track. For this purpose, like I said, I'm only doing the first verse or two, so we'll stop right here. And then export this as, I just do an MP3, I name them Drive Oaks. Yep. And now we will take that file, which I saved right here, and we'll copy him into our project folder. All right. Okay, so if you're anything like me, you have no idea what notes are what. A major, B flat, which C scale you should be on. I, that's all Greek to me. So I like to convert this into a quick MIDI file just as a guide. I'm not going to use the MIDI as my vocals, but it will tell me what notes I need to work with. So to do that, I actually went ahead and created a little template that I will post in this thread uh, called Vocals. You can see it's got the vocal stem input, the MIDI recording output. Now what I recommend you do is incorporate this into your template. You don't have to, you can do it all right here, create your MIDI and then copy and paste this over to your template. But I actually incorporate it into my own custom template. So here's my vocal stem recording where I bring in my drive oaks and it will output, oh no, here's my vocal stem where I bring in my drive drive box and it'll output a MIDI to this folder or this track. If you're not sure when you're dragging them in, if you have it set up properly here, just keep in mind one is the input, one's the output basically. And you want to go to view routing matrix. Make sure your output, the vocal stem, lines up with the input, the MIDI recording file you want. So just put a little check right in there so when you play this stem it'll output MIDI to this one all right so let's go ahead and drag our file in we're gonna put him on the vocal stem actually I have a I have a traffic project we'll do it there All right, so here's my traffic project. I've already done the tempo map, the drums, guitar. Um, so we'll do it here. Drag him there. All right, so now you want to mute every track. I don't care about events and stuff, but make sure everything else muted except your vocal stem and your recording. Make sure you're home. And make sure your vocal stem recording, this is where you want your MIDI to generate, is armed. Once you've armed it, record. Now it's going to play track 8, which is our vocal stem, and record it to a MIDI on track 4. it here like I said I'm only going to do those first two verses save your recording I'm going to mute my stem for now I'm going to disarm this and I'm actually going to copy and paste this to a vocal track um, one of the first things I like to do is come over here and just create a quick little track name for it and then I'm going to select all, copy, I can close this, and then I created a track here. I just copied one of the harmony tracks, named it Pitch, and I'm going to paste it into the Pitch track. That way now I know I have a scale here to tell me what note it is. All right, so if you work with the MIDIs and all this before, you know you get a lot of garbage in here too. So let's clean up some of that garbage just to make it easier when we're doing it. You don't have to do this. I just find it's good practice. So right away you can see there's some notes here that absolutely don't belong. So these right here. And that's the, the bleep bleep bleeps we got when we were recording it. So let's uh let's check it out. 
I uh, actually don't remember what I have muted and stuff, so let's see. So I want to mute my recording. I'm actually done with that. We'll unmute the stem and we'll unmute the pitch. So now we can... Okay, so we don't need those. Tell that's garbage. That's garbage. Something to make us all happy. Alright, looks like we got a pretty good guide here. In no way is this anything but a guide. Alright, so I'm going to undock him. I'm going to close him real quick to make sure we're back at square one and home base. All right, so now we can start actually laying down some vocals. So let's uh, open up our vocal stem a bit so we can see the track. You know, so these are vocals right here. And then let's, in our MIDI ed editor, let's have our pitch and our vocals. I'm actually going to mute the pitch but unmute the vocals so we can see what we're working with. And let's make that a little more opened up. I like to do my vocals in 128. Some people do it in 64. Whatever you want. Just means you have a better grid and easier to move things around. Um, so the first thing we need to do is see where my first vocal starts. So somewhere around G in the C3 scale. All right. So... We're going to line these up. We're going to go back to vocals. My first one starts there. G, C3. And we'll lay down a vocal. And we can usually tell from here. Roughly where you're going. If you usually want them shorter than longer. So if you're not sure if you need to go over or back. on one or this could be two words here I use the scrubbing function to scrub hold the alt you'll see your hand up here at the marker so you see that actually was one word or one syllable so if we play this right now Right now we're just lining them up. We're not too concerned with the, the note yet, the pitch. All right, so we have that part done. If you want, you can go ahead and bring in your lyrics. Choose all in the mediator. And shift L, I believe, is the default one. I changed mine, so don't remember what it is. Go to traffic, lyrics. So now we have our lyrics imported in, and we can now just literally just glance over here at the pitch track we created, which I have mislabeled harmony. So let's fix that real quick. Uh, all right, so back here at the pitch track, our first one's G. Looks like it goes up to A, hitting the G's. Right around fantasy. So we can go back to our vocal. We can bring fantasy up to A. We can even bring Mr. up to G if we want. Doesn't sound like that went to G, so we'll stay there. Move over here, edit him a little bit. He's down to E and D. So we'll bring him down to D. We can actually put a slide in here. You see how here it went from D up to E? And you can change these to slides. You can add slides wherever you want. So let's add a slide at Fantasy and we'll bring it ending up at E. So you can even scrub it to here. This one back down to about.
about there. So this part will be the D, and it'll rise up to the E. Now we want to make sure when we bring in our lyrics now that that shows up. So we need to open our lyrics file. I usually keep mine open the entire time in the background. And right after fantasy, where we want it to rise up, we're going to add a plus. And then we save that. We import our lyrics again. And now that's a plus. It's going to be an add-on to fantasy as a slide. Okay, so now we can come back over here. Let me start a new one. Where is this roughly at? So these are roughly in the DC area here. So we'll do here. I want to scrub to see if this is play us or just play. So it sounds like us is right here. Us right here. And tune is right here. I like to lay my lyrics down first and then go back and move them in the right pitch. So play us. So we're right here. and then down and you can also do this by ear and then tune starts up in the E's ends down in the C's so maybe goes a little bit of both Let's see. so it starts low goes high and back down so we'll, we'll put a little C marker here we'll put a little another one here at the end lower this one a bit Want to make it perfect? You can come up into the pitch. You start to lower right about there, and then we need to add two more pluses after tune. All right, file saved. We'll import our lyrics. So now you'll see, and if we go back here and play it, we'll actually mute the vocal and we'll just listen to the MIDI. Tune sounded weird because we don't have this because of the sliding, so listen to this. Something. We actually even lower this one a little bit. Tune. And then just continue on with the rest of the song. Now, as you get more advanced, you'll add more slides, and I mean, even just a little A might have five slides in it. Um, but this hopefully at least will get you going, charting, and see some more pitched vocals out there. Hope you enjoyed this. Have fun. Look forward to seeing your customs in the database.